Listen. What's up, guys? This is Vinge Plays, and I thought it was extremely important to do a video of this magnitude because, you know, there's a fair amount of people that don't know that I'm back, but then there's also a fair amount of people that found out that I'm back or learned that I'm back or saw a stream and popped in and said, Yo, Vinge is back! Let's fudge and go! And so I'm like, Hey, let's talk about my vision. As a YouTube content creator, you definitely want to have some kind of goal in mind so you can move your channel in the direction that you want it to go. And so I finally have that decision. I've been floating around on YouTube for a while trying to figure out what my new identity is going to be and is going to come down to learning Pokemon. So let's give you a quick background when it comes to my uh, knowledge of Pokemon, right? Uh, back when I was younger, Pokemon was losing that edge, right? It wasn't as hype as it was, and back then I wasn't even playing Pokemon like that. And so I just started getting into Pokemon when Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu came out. And so that's when I really started getting into Pokemon. And boy, I looked like a straight dum-dum because I was just picking moves that looked cool. And when I use those moves, I'm like, yeah, this move looked really cool. It should do a lot of damage. And then I look and I'm like, why is this move not doing any damage? And then you got viewers in the background of the stream like what the fudge is this idiot doing and then you have other people that was more nice about it like but you may not know the basics of pokemon and i sure as heck didn't know anything about pokemon back then and so during that time people have been sharing things with me and i have been learning about pokemon and having fun and so i was playing game after game after game but i wound up getting bored you know, and so, like, Pokemon kind of, like, fizzled out unless a new game came out. And so I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? And, well, I randomly decided to do a Soul Link Nuzlocke with Ragnar over on Twitch one day. And I had so much fun doing that Nuzlocke Soul Link with Ragnar that I was thinking maybe I can do Nuzlocke's. Um, like, back during my, uh, journey on Twitch, I streamed a lot of Fire Emblem, and one of the things that was so cool about Fire Emblem was the stress level. The emotion that was tied to it, because when you lose a character, they're gone for good. So imagine losing a character that you really loved, and they're gone, and you hit that deep depression, right? <laughs> and with Nuzlocke, in Pokemon, it adds that challenge. And it adds that fear and anxiety, especially when you're playing Platinum because of the super high crit rates. I mean, you'll crit when you don't want a Pokemon to crit. You're careless and your opponent crits you and kills your mon and you have to put them in the dead box never to be used again. Unless they're an HM slave. So, my objective is learning Pokemon while having fun. People have been really helpful during the Nuzlocke streams, and it was a lot of fun when we were doing this. And uh, what really brought the message home was when I was talking about this vision that I came up with on a YouTube live stream, and a viewer by the name of Cushy actually was said something very similar to what I was about to say, and he mentioned in a very interesting way and it was a funny way to me because he wasn't trying to be rude or anything but i understood what he was saying you know he was saying i'm the same race as him and you know i'm an older person like him and i you know i'm trying to learn pokemon and he thought that was super cool and he was into that and i know that's the vibe that i was getting as i was doing these nuzlocke live streams and Viewers came in helping me, applauding me when I did something cool or did something right, and people was into that. And it's like, oh, this might be a good direction to go. Because not only is it fun for me playing this new challenging way, but it's fun for the viewers too, especially when they see somebody enthusiastic about Pokemon and they're trying to help me. That's like inclusion right there, making them a part of the stream. And so I was digging that. 
And one of the reasons why I love the Nuzlocks is because of the emotion that's tied into it. It reminded me back in my Twitch days when I was streaming a lot of, uh, what was that? A lot of uh, Fire Emblem, right? And you get attached to certain characters and then when they die, they're gone for good. And that's basically the concept behind Nuzlocke. It adds a challenge because when your Pokemon dies, you can't revive them. You got to put them in a dead box and then you have to move on. And yeah, it's very stressful, especially in Platinum with those nasty uh, crit rates. Because in Platinum, the crit rates is way up there. I mean, you would crit them on when you don't want them to crit and your opponents will crit you. And if you're not careful, they make you play. And I, f I felt that like every time I cringe, I scream, you know, I cheer, I cry, I die. <laughs> so this is my vision. Learning to play Pokemon right while having fun. And the cool thing about Nuzlocke is it based Nuzlocke forces you to try to think outside the box when you're fighting Pokemon and you learn from your mistakes and that's really cool because as I was doing these Nuzlocke on YouTube like viewers were actually getting involved you know literally helping me and I had no issue with that they provide tips or they're cringing when something scary is about to happen. Like they thought Amon was going to die and I thought Amon was going to die. And you know, I was going to die and I was going to cry. And I did a lot of screaming, complaining and laughing. And it was just a wonderful experience. YouTube has been doing amazing over the past few weeks. I felt like I never left and so many viewers came in there were some viewers that just showed out you know and there's we wind up getting 18 members dude and we was able to get up to eight emotes for the stream we only started out with like what four or five and now we got like earned eight emotes all thanks to the additional support so I appreciate every single one of you and even those of you that did not become members the fact that you guys showed up on the stream helped my channel get noticed and we're doing great things out here and it, YouTube has been such a joy so you know I'm out here and we're out here for fun I feel like that's the thing that was missing and you know I'm going through a lot you know working two jobs and everything stressful but you know I'm slowly getting things back I'm slowly finding that happy place you know and if I'm happy everyone else would be too um, so let's move on to the next thing um, the next thing, because you're always going to have that main game, and my main game is Pokemon right now. Learning Pokemon while having fun. Uh, more content that you will see is JRPGs. Especially the Trail series, because of the fact that I've been so into Trails. I literally live-streamed all of Trails 1, Trails of Cold Steel 1, Trails of Cold Steel 2. I've been live streaming a bit of Trails Cold Steel 3 as well as making videos on top of that. So it's like a combination of videos and streams. Now the objective there is to try to get Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4 done before Trails of Reverie next year, next summer of 2023. I feel like that's going to be a very difficult task to get done, but hey, why not make that a task and see if we can make that happen so i'm interested to see where that goes and see if we can get something going with the trail series because i'm really into it and i hope my videos will suffice for those of you that are watching for the trails content um and so let's talk about the other thing that I want to do as well. This is the number three on my list, and that's like playing game, other games of interest. Uh, one of the big games that I've been getting into as of late is an old indie game known as Hat in Time, which is a sleeper hit. 
is an amazing game that just got overshadowed by, you know, like uh, Super Mario Odyssey. I'm not kidding you guys. Hat in Time is literally better than Super Mario Odyssey. Yes, Super Mario, Super Mario Odyssey is more polished and is a more popular title. Everyone knows who Mario and the other characters are. However, Hat in Time has a lot of charm. Not only that, it's a full game with tons of mods that adds a lot of replayability. So I highly recommend getting Hat in Time on PC if you have a PC because you're going to have endless fun with Hat in Time. And I would like to stream Hat in Time with people as well. I feel like that would be pretty lit. And then there's also Sonic Frontiers that is very interesting. And, and the reason why I'm saying this is because the first time in a long time, I finally find a, find a Sonic game that makes sense. Um, a lot of the previous Sonic titles had some kind of strange gimmick that just didn't make sense to me. But Sonic Frontiers has a lot of amazing things going on, especially when it comes to the way Sonic fights. The combat just makes sense, and I'm like, you know what, this is a game I have to check out. And then there's other games that I will occasionally live stream as well. So let's just recap real quick. So we have Pokemon being the main selling point of this channel. Then down the line we have JRPG goodness, especially the Trail series in general. Then also Xenoblade 3. You know, Xenoblade 3 is pretty daggum lit. Uh, then we have that, my number three spot, which is the games of interest like Hat in Time and Sonic from Tears. And if you want me to dab in a little Bayonetta 3, we can do that as well. And last but not least, I wanted to talk about something that I learned during my Twitch journeys that I want to bring over to YouTube now that it is finally available for YouTube. And that is commands right more interactive commands and i can't wait just to give you a few examples of some of them these are some cool commands that i was able to put together thanks to the sammy program that you guys could use in the youtube chat so the first one we're going to show you um, is the censor command where you can literally bleep my voice out to make it sound like i'm cursing I'm thinking of we're watching myself put right now. Together. Well, there you go. <laughs> and there you go. Like I said. So let's move on to the other command that we got going on too, which is uh, from Hat in Time. This is a close up command, by the way. It's too fast. I also have an anime close up one, which is like a Dragon Ball zoom in anime effect. What That's just a, a close up. Oh, now. now. I thought I cursed there, but I oh did. I said fudge. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, like, and, and I died. Yeah, so let's show you another one. This, yeah, we, we did stream Fortnite a few times. Yes, I know. Finn streaming Fortnite, hello. But, yo, this command is one of my personal favorites. Virgil is going to interrupt the stream in epic Virgil know, fashion. You're going to love this one. You're going to love it. There it is. The storm that is approaching. And I'm dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> Let's move on to another one. Now, this command is a cool water. one. So, if I it's fail, you have the wasted I'm command. You know the GTA command? Right there. Love it. And so, these are the kind of commands that you guys would be able to use live. And I'm so excited to bring this over to youtube and people has been having some fun with those so hey those of you that did not know that i'm streaming well now you know i'm back and i got plenty of new tricks 
to share with you guys. So uh, I think that's about all I wanted to say, but so did I just reiterate, I'm back. And we're out here having fun. And once again, I just got to thank everybody for their amazing support. Uh, the channel, I feel, has been doing amazing despite a long absence of six months. And I'm most certainly pleased. And I hope that uh, I'm able to uh, rekindle that fire that was once lost uh, within the YouTube community that I have built here. I feel like I accomplished that. And uh, hey, hashtag invested. And I look forward to seeing you guys again. Peace and God bless, guys. Stay safe.